A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Hope we're all that ready. Callow, all right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> A lot of people had their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I've got the training. People. The tools. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Hell. There. Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Report state. EOS deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. But they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make EOS own. Severe radiation alert path. Finder.
Corps is getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Got a code lock key. Gives us that. Access if we need it. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside... Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. It's inoperable pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. <clears throat> Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Generator interface possible. Location marked.
took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site-1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can use... Special Requisition All-Terrain Scout Rover. A Nomad! Six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need! The Initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate app.
Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both. Traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drives. It'll get you up there in a snap.
of sight too. Resilience. It was sold as the one we get right. But it didn't have time to get worn down. Got wiped out by Ket. We'll deal with the Ket. One thing at a time. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation within safe levels. terminals. No access. Sam? If deployment is standard, main access will be deeper in. Can't stick. Override! Close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Ket are inbound to your location. Ket and that thing? Some.
ships. The big thing is still standing. Special Project Sigma. They were building something, but there are parts missing. This must be the project they were salvaging at Site 1. A way to fight the cat. We could finish it. at Site 2 had security tags, compiling possible nav points. for a massacre. Got a component for Site 2's project. Not sure what's worse. This or dying slow, like promise. Happy thoughts, Liam. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Soundstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep, a leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identity. 